of the Animals, Part 5. The Central Ranges Taipan, also known as the Western Desert Taipan, is the third and most recently discovered species of Taipan. Known from only one or two specimens, this is the first new Taipan species described in 125 years. The first one, nicknamed Scully after an X-Files character, is an immature female roughly a metre long that was found roughly 200 kilometres away from Western Australia's border with South Australia. The man who discovered her believed her to be a Western brown snake due to the colouring until he took a closer look and saw her head was similar to a coastal taipan. A snake that has nowhere near the area she was found. Genetic analysing later revealed her to be a new species of snake related to the two taipan species already known, the inland taipan and the coastal taipan. Not much is known currently about the snake, such as the size, since it's believed that Scully is an immature specimen. Though, if it's anything like its relatives, it's probably around 2 to 3 metres on average. Inland taipans get to about 1.8 to 3.1 metres, while coastal taipans are the longest at around 2.5 to 3.5 metres. There was another female Central Rangers Taipan found, which measured about 1.3 metres, which isn't much more considering Scully was a metre. And according to one thing I came across, it's believed they can reach an average of about 5 to 5.5 feet. According to the Wikipedia page, the snake's venom is rated at needing 0.075 milligrams per kilogram to kill a person. As a comparison, the coastal taipan needs about 0.106 to 0.099 milligrams to kill a person. Meaning that, if this number is to be believed, the Central Ranges taipan dethrones the coastal for title of third most venomous snake in the world. However, its venom is still weaker than the eastern brown snakes and the coastal taipan's venom which are 0.053 mg per kilo and 0.025 mg per kilo, respectively. Anyway, it's believed these snakes feed primarily on mammals, like their relatives, meaning their venom is more suited for mammals, which means their venom is much more deadly for humans than it would be for something like reptiles. And even if it wasn't designed to take down mammals, I still wouldn't want to be bitten, since it is the third most venomous snake in the world currently. When it comes to reproduction, I couldn't find anything, but the IUCN did list them as being at least concern, so for now, I don't think we have to worry about them going extinct. And that's a very brief summary of the inland and coastal Taipan's lesser known relative. I'm sorry if this was a bit of a short video, there's not much known about this snake. Some of the stuff I looked up about it online was literally just a couple pages that had some images and a brief overview of the snake. I did come across what I believe is a research paper about the snake's discovery, but I didn't really feel like reading it. But if you're interested, I sh it should be in the description of this video. And yes, the Coastal and Eastern Brown will get their own videos at some point. Alongside the Western Brown, King Brown, Red Belly Black, Blue Belly Black, the Deaf Adder, and Tiger Snake. So that way I can say I've covered at least 90% of the reasons foreigners don't come here.